In this short video, we are going to show you how to add some additional print commands to your input file using the pre-print command tool. Now for this exercise, we're going to go to our workflow page control area and select the analysis page. Now this model also already contains all of our relevant analysis commands, but we may want to add some additional information to our output file. To do this, we're going to come up to our ribbon toolbar and select the pre-analysis commands icon. This will bring up the pre-analysis print dialog. And to add a command, we're going to click on our define commands button. And you can see several different pieces of information are available to be added. For example, if we wanted to print our joint coordinates, we'd be able to do that in the output file. We may at times want to print our center of gravity information. This command is especially useful if you are performing an analysis that contains a rigid diaphragm. For our exercise, let's go ahead and add some material properties to the output file. So I'm going to identify my material properties tab, and then let's go ahead and click the add button and then click close. So I basically want the program to give me some material property information. Now, the program does need to know which pieces of information or which members I want to assign this to. So I'm going to highlight this property and I'm going to assign it to the entire view. I'm going to say assign to view and click the assign button. Let's go ahead and run our analysis and see how our output file is now a little different than the basic. We're going to proceed directly to our output file after our analysis is performed. And we're going to notice that every time you add one of those types of commands, a print piece of information, it's going to give you a quick bookmark to that location. So here we can say I asked the program to print my material properties. I'm going to double click on it. And here I can get all the material properties that I assigned to all the different members in the model. I'm getting their modulus of elasticity and all their other parameters. Now this could be useful in several different ways if you want to basically control the level of output. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.